Kicking off your weekend wrap up with some basketball. The class of 1990-1993 playing in this year's Alumni Tournament Championship going up against the favorites in the class of 2006. Class of 06 won it all in 2008 and are looking for their second title in a span of four years. Getting help from Brian Affleck redishing the ball off and slicing through the lane and going up and under giving 06 an early lead. Brian attacking the basket and getting fouled, but no call on the play. Mike Skrull with the Tony Parker floater in the lane, giving 06 a huge push in the first half. Class of 90-93 fighting back hard, showing the young guys they still have got enough game in them to win it all. TJ Balahaja dishing the ball off to AJ in the lane, but gets it back and goes straight up for two points and the foul. Balahaja ecstatic after the play. Jared Connolly providing the class of 2006 with some lockdown defense. Two blocks on the night for Jared. Brian getting in the lane once again to close out the game and bring this year's 2010 Father Duaneus Alumni Tournament trophy to the class of 2006. This will be the second time in four years that this class has won. But let's hear it from them. Second championship game of this weekend was between the Guam Shipyard and the Quality Distributors. Here's Kiko Santos and Eric Soto getting tangled up early, but not before emotions would run high and the expressive Kiko Santos getting yellow carded. Guam Shipyard losing their cool early. Matt Wilson getting a clear shot to draw first blood, but misses his shot far right. But he would get another chance at it with a little help from Jonathan Romero as Welton capitalizes on one of his three goals. Welton working on the defense of Shipyard again and getting the ball to bounce to teammate Matt Cruz, knocking it in for a two-goal lead. Getting into the scoring action is number 20, Alan Jameson, giving the distributors a lot of breathing room. Guam Shipyard beginning to lose all cool, tripping up Eric Soto and letting the game get away from them on an unnecessary foul. Soto would respond to the foul in the best way possible, tacking up another goal for the quality distributors. Welton once again getting in the face of the defense, chipping the ball off his left foot and scoring goal number two. Guam Shipyard showing heart as they were trying to stay in it with Ian Mariano scoring a late goal. But Matt Welton off a penalty kick closed the game and ended the season for Guam Shipyard beating them 8-2. Matt Welton completed the hat trick and had his team, the quality distributors, crowned this year's 2010 Men's Futsal League Champions. Reporting for Sports Watch, I'm Robert Bullahudgeon.